here go to church raise your hand yeah all right so at your church you know I don't know about yours but sometimes in our church we have the guys that uh, the random amen guys right the guys that amen. yep yep there you go there you go and uh, you know it's kind of it's, sometimes it happens at weird times too right the pastor be like would you turn in your Bibles to John 12 chapter 12 amen and you're kind of like oh really serious and then, so I think, you know, I think I've got this thing figured out. Really, what I think is that the pastors, those people that say that, the random amen guys, those are actually guys that are like the pastors actually like talk to beforehand and put in the audience to keep us from falling asleep, right? They're like, yeah, keep it up, man. Amen. All the time. Amen. 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 Keep us from nodding off, right? Yeah. So, uh, you know, today, this afternoon, I had to bust out my sunglasses, which it took me forever to find, because the sun hasn't come out here in like, whoa, I don't know what, like nine months has it been, something like that? Yeah, amen. <laughs> you know, and it's, it's always, it's kind of hard wearing these in Seattle, because really what happens is like the sun, the sun comes out, and it's like, all right, cool, all right, and then ten minutes later, oh, the sun's gone again. And then about five hours, oh, the sun's back again. And so you never get that, like, you know, the raccoon look where you get the, you know, the burned face and the white things because we're always doing this, right? Always doing this. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, I, I, you know, these sunglasses kind of remind me of a, a dark time in my life where um, I was really depressed. And for some, some of you know, some of my friends who know it, I go to uh, Celebrate Recovery, which is a, a great program. Some of you guys amen. know about that. Yeah, amen. Amen to that. And uh, so I went, to the, I went to the doctor to find out what was wrong, and um, you know, he kept asking me all these questions like, have you been in a, through a difficult relationship? No, I haven't been through a difficult relationship. Hmm. Uh, have you been through a stressful life change, uh, like maybe a move or a job change? Oh, yeah. No, 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 I haven't. So anyways, I, you know, I kind of went home, and he prescribed me some things, but you know, I went home, and I uh, turned on the news, and I was watching, and I was like, man, this is really depressing. And, Two months later, I kicked my depression. I just stopped watching the news. I mean, it's just yeah. it's terrible, isn't it? Right? The stories come on, and you know, it's always about how somebody shot somebody or somebody got robbed or something like that. You know, and then you think, okay, well, you know, at least after that, you get the weather. But that's not any better. That's even worse. That's more depressing here, right? Rain for the next five days. And then you get to sports. That's the most depressing part of all. <laughs> Both of you who've lived here know about that, right? <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the weather especially, man, the weather just kills me around here. It's just, it's so difficult, you know, especially the last two days. It's just been pouring down rain. We're supposed to have, it's supposed to be spring, right? You know, there's nothing but rain and it's cold and it sucks. It makes it really difficult, you know. I, I, I think we should stop calling it spring and call it sprinter because it's kind of like a combination between <laughs> spring and winter. But uh, anyways, you know, the... It's, what's really hard is when I have to call my relatives and they live like someplace really nice. Like last week I had to call my brother-in-law and he's in Indianapolis. So you think, well, Indianapolis can't be any worse there. You know? It's got to be way worse there than here, right? No, it's like 80 degrees there. You know, and I'm just like, holy cow. And so I'm on the phone with him and he's like, hey dude, what's going on? I'm like, not much. How's it going? He goes, it's awesome, man. It's, it's like 80 degrees here, man. It's like shirts and t-shirt in the middle of March. It's crazy. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's nice here, too. <laughs> Looking outside, and it's pouring down rain. It's like, man, it's so cool, man. I really wish you were here. And I'm like, I really wish I was there with you, too. <laughs> He's like, you okay? I'm like, I, 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 I have a hard time here. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Click. And, uh, yeah, so it just it makes it, it makes it really difficult. But, anyways, with these last two years especially, the weather's been really especially bad. So um, I wrote a song that I think kind of sums up how we're, how we're all feeling about the weather in Seattle. And, um, and yeah, see if, you like it. See, if, see if you can relate to this a little bit. Stop. 
the rain. Amen. I went down to Coma, seeking shelter from the storm. Was caught up in the traffic, my blood began to boil. Five miles down the same thing, I think I'm going insane. And I wondered, still I wonder who'll stop the rain. They say to look for sun, but I've still got a fire and I'm trying to keep warm. And still the rain keeps pouring, falling everywhere. And I wonder, still I wonder, who's out the rain? If it don't stop raining, I might just build an ark. And I wonder, I really wonder, who'll stop the rain. Thank you guys, thank you. I got, I got one more song to uh, share with you, and um, some very special people are here today that I'm going to dedicate this song to. Uh, I'm especially going to dedicate this song. My Aunt Debbie actually has heard this song before I played it on her 50th birthday. But uh, I have another friend of mine who's holding my yellow iPhone over there. Her name is Diane Hageman, and she's turning 50 in September this year. And um, as, as many of you know, there's uh, some life changes and some... Uh, you just have to change the way that you do life when you turn 50. So, anyways, here you go. You better take your aspirin before you fall apart and drink a glass of fiber before your morning start. Fifty, 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 fifty. I ain't got nothing but backaches eight days a week. Looking in the mirror. Where'd that gray hair come? Where'd that wrinkle cream go? I need some more, it's gone. Fifty, 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 fifty. I ain't drank nothing but prune juice. Eight days a week. Eight days a week. I need my walker. Eight days a week where's my diaper underwear now you're getting older I guess you know it's true let's drink some Metamucil and take all of your pills 